In this video, I'm going to discuss about the current flow in a circuit containing the capacitor when placed in a time varying magnetic field. Let us consider this particular closed path containing the parallel plate capacitor placed in a time varying magnetic field B. Tesla. So the magnetic field is varying with respect to time. Definitely it induces an EMF. Induces an EMF. Which can be taken as E or it can also be taken as V. And this is given by the time varying nature of the magnetic field. The Faraday's law says that induced EMF is given by surface integral of dou B by dou T. So this EMF induced or this closed path can be of any type. It depends on the nature of the magnetic flux density. Let us assume that the induced EMF is sinusoidal in nature, that is Vm sine omega t. This induced EMF induces a current, that is induced current in the conducting path of the closed circuit. See this one. The conducting path indicated in black is carrying the current IC that is the induced current passing through the circuit containing the capacitor. And it is given by capacitance into dV by dd. This equation is very familiar in our circuit theory where C is the capacitance of the parallel plate capacitor which is given by epsilon the permittivity between the two plates medium between the two plates a divided by d a is the plate area d is the distance of separation between the two plates so now this conduction current can be further expanded as C means it is epsilon A by D time differentiation of V. V is assumed as a sinusoidal quantity that is sine omega T. So after differentiation Vm is constant, which comes out. Differentiation of sine is cos omega t, so omega also comes out. So what happens here is epsilon a by d into Vm into omega of cos omega t. So this is the conduction current which is measurable flowing in this circuit containing the capacitor. We should take this as equation number one. Now, if you look at the this current loop and between the two plates here, between the two plates, there is a perfect dielectric medium, not simply dielectric medium insulating medium through which this conduction current usually doesn't flow, but still conduction takes place through the capacitor always when it is connected in a circuit. So we can think of another current that flows through the dielectric medium. That is what we generally call displacement current, let us say ID. So the current ID generally flows from one plate to another plate where IC is generally negligible and sometimes 
zero also. So the continuity of the current is established through this idle. Now let us measure what is the magnitude of this displacement current that is flowing between the two plates of the capacitor. Displacement current, which can be denoted as ID, can be measured in terms of displacement current density, JD, when multiplied with area. Current density is ampere per meter square, ampere by area, into area will give current in amps. Here A stands for plate area. It's not the unit area, plate area. So now, displacement current, what is the magnitude of the displacement current density? That is given by the Maxwell's equation, which is derived from Ampere's law, that is dot D by dot D into A. So time differentiation of electric flux density gives the displacement current density. And we know that D is related to electric field intensity as epsilon E, the product into A. So epsilon is constant. A is also constant. So the differentiation of electric field with respect to time defines displacement current. Here, E is the electric field intensity, which is developed by the induced EMF. So there is a relation between electric field intensity and induced EMF. And we have seen in many theories or many discussions that electric field and electric potential are related, particularly in parallel plate capacitor, electric field is given by potential divided by distance. D is the distance of separation between the two plates. So between the two plates, the distance of separation is D, area is A. So V by D, which is a constant. So therefore, using this known relation, so what happens to our electric field? Rho by dou T, in place of electric field, let us introduce the ratio of voltage to distance, that is EMF to distance. And D being the constant, is taken out of this differentiation and V is left, V is to be differentiated, but V is given by Vm sine omega t as per our assumption and as usual Vm is constant, sine omega t differentiation is cos omega t into omega. So this is the relation we can use to calculate the displacement current flowing through a parallel plate capacitor and we can call this equation number two. So now let us compare this ID displacement current density with that of conduction current. Let's take this one. copy what we derived from here and place it here. If you observe both of them, we can say that both are absolutely equal. So same terms you can see. So therefore we can conclude that the displacement current flowing between the two plates of the capacitor is exactly equal to the conduction current flowing outside the capacitor in the closed circuit. So that's how the current flow is continuous in a current loop containing the capacitor. The nature of the current flow varies from between the plates to outside the plate. So therefore,
Therefore, we can conclude that IC is equal to ID in parallel plate capacitor. Parallel plate capacitor circuit placed in the magnetic field, let us say B. That's it. That's the very useful relation you can use in many places. That's about this derivation. Thank you.